Welcome to the homework for lesson eight. This is module eight of grade two. Don't forget your name. And name the pattern block used to cover half the rhombus. So we were talking about this. The pattern blocks are the ones like where they have sometimes they're wood, sometimes they're plastic, but um, they're really popular uh, in, in a lot of different schools. I've seen them. Every classroom seems to have them. They've got yellow hexagons and red trapezoids. If you put two of them together, they make a hexagon, one of the yellow hexagons. And they've got green triangles and blue rhombuses and orange squares. So let's see. Sketch the two pattern blocks used to cover both halves of the rhombus. So I could just do this. Uh, the pattern block used to cover half of the rhombus, those would be the rhombuses would be blue. And it takes two green triangles, so a triangle. And sketch them. So here's a picture of the rhombus. And it, if you put the two green triangles together, that's how they look. And now uh, it says name the pattern block used to cover half of the hexagon. So what does it look like? If you put them together like that, those are the trapezoids. And then name the pattern block used to cover a third of the hexagon. So that's the middle of the hexagon. This is how I draw it. Is you find a spot that's right in the middle of the hexagon, the very center of it, and then you connect to it every other corner. So that corner, but I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to draw a line to that one. And then I'm going to skip this one and draw a line to that one. And there I have it. I have the uh, the three rhombuses put together. Here's how you spell rhombus. R-H-O-M-B-U-S. Name the pattern block used to cover a third of the trapezoid. Now the trapezoid has... If you use three of those green triangles, let me use a straight edge for this, and it will come out right. That's about the middle of the bottom. And then what we're going to do is take the top corner and draw a line down, and the other top corner and make a line down there. And I should have three pretty much equally looking triangles. Try struggling triangle A N H G L E and now two lines to make four squares in the square below. So he, now we're not talking about pattern blocks anymore, unless you take four of the orange squares and put them together to make a bigger square because it's almost all you can do with those squares. Um, there and there shade now it says shade one small square okay each small square is what one half one third or one fourth well there's four of them so it's a fourth of the whole square now it says shade one more small square. There. Now two, they're still fourths. Just because I'm shading them in doesn't mean I, I don't count them. There's still four of them. So it's two fourths. I'm just counting fourths. Wait a minute, no, but it says how many fourths. Yeah, there's still fourths. But now two of them are shaded in, so I'm counting one, two shaded fourths. And now for C, uh, two fourths of the square is the same as one. So like if this whole thing was shaded in like that, doesn't that look like, does it look like half? Does it look like a third or does it look like a fourth? Well, it looks like the shaded part is equal to the unshaded part. So that would be two parts, right? Shaded, one unshaded. And they're equal, so they would be halves. 
shade two more so small squares, okay, here, there, and how many fourths is that that are shaded in now? Well, that's one, two, three, four of them are shaded in now, so it's four fourths. Four fourths is equal to one hole, and that's not like a hole, like a hole in the ground, but W hole, like the whole thing, put all the parts put together, make a hole. Name the pattern block used to cover one sixth of the hexagon. And sketch the six pattern blocks used to cover six sixths of the hexagon. Well, those it takes those green triangles, right? So if you want to cover six sixths, it takes six of these green triangles. And if you just connect opposite corners, you'll see exactly what it ends up looking like. And you'll see all the triangles touch here in the center. And that's kind of like a hexagonal pizza. Uh, and each pattern block, like this one here, each one of those, of course, is a triangle because it's got three sides. 